Well, hello, YouTube. I have a bit of a, a surprise, I guess, for you guys today. Um, this is my grandfather's 2009 Jeep Liberty Limited. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, it does have remote start. Now, the reason I have this is because I'm going to clean it up and detail it for him today. Um, there's the back end of it. And this one, of course, has Chrysler's 3.7 liter uh, V6. Whoops, it would help if I unlocked it. And I'll go ahead and show you the engine. Oh, I forgot it does that. I'll have to stick the key in and start it back up. Leave the door open. Maybe. Aha! Yep. Ugh! Huh, sorry about that. That was a lot heavier than I expected. But anyways, here's Chrysler's 3.7 liter V6. Um, it does have a K&N cold air intake on it. Um, it's a pretty solid engine. It's not anything... Hold on. It's a pretty solid engine. It's not anything incredibly special. But it gets the job done. And it's been incredibly reliable for my grandfather. This one has about 18,595 miles on it. Averaging about 12.4 miles per gallon. Not bad. Um, of course, it has a four-speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. There's your first gear, second gear, and then drive. And then there is no backup camera. As you can see, this one does have navigation. Uh, it's a really good navigation system. Never... They've never had any problems out of it, and it's always taken them right where they want to go. Um, as for interior materials, of course, they're all hard plastic. Um, up here, hard plastic, of course. There is a bit of an edge right there where the gauge cluster switches. Um, but it's not too bad. Right here, you have a little bit of a storage tray which does have a little rubber insert inside. Of course, coming back over here, this is the airbag cover is pretty flimsy. Um, and you do have a nice grab handle there, so I like that. Ooh, do not need any air on. It's cold. Um, steering wheel is nice and thick. I do like that about this car a lot. Um, steering is very tight. Um, not necessarily responsive but it's very tight um, of course it has automatic headlamps and two-person seat memory over here and this is obviously Chrysler's old uh, steering wheel for the Jeep uh, center console um, it is pretty jiggly and the entire thing moves around um, Um, glove box, it still has the new car tag on it. Um, it is pretty small, and it's not damp either, so it just falls right on your knees. Or if there was a person there, it would. Uh, it does have a sunroof. I'm not going to open that, because it's insanely cold outside. Um, headliner is nice and plush. I mean, it's not necessarily soft, but it's padded well. If it'll focus, there we go. You can see it is, it is nice. Um, the seats obviously are black leather, and they do have the Jeep logo stamped into the back of them. Uh, rear seat legroom is really not bad, actually. I'm I'm quite surprised and pleased with that. Uh, rear seat comfort, it's not bad either. Um, it's 
it's pretty good. I've I've ridden back there several times. Um, also, this car I've driven it many times before, um, and it's a very nice car to drive. It's very smooth, very quiet, just a a nice car. Um, I know many people say, "Oh, it's a Jeep, so it sucks." No, not really. Um, this has been my grandfather's favorite car he's ever owned, and one of the best cars any of our family has ever owned. It's insanely reliable. You can see the Jag up there. Um, of course, you have your lighting controls and a little clip to store like cards and stuff. There's the sunroof. I'll open it. But I'm, I'll open the slider. Um, it's a pretty small sunroof, but this is a pretty small SUV, so you don't really need anything that big. Uh, rear view mirror, of course, is right there. Um, yes, I do have the iPhone 5 now. That's that's a new thing. Um, steering wheel is tilting only. It's It does not telescope, which for some reason I thought it did, but it doesn't. I guess that's the infinity they have. I don't know. Um, you have your blinker controls, um, and it does have where you just bump it, and it'll do three clicks. I do like that a lot. Um, I don't know how to operate all this stuff. 100 miles to empty. Timer, I don't know. Mm, gas mileage. And when you put it into the low gear selection, a little indicator comes up on the dash. See, right now I'm in one, two, and now I'm back in drive. And it also has a tow haul mode which we've never really done any towing with this car, but I'm sure it could tow a little bit. Uh, here's your emergency brake right here. Nice and beefy and manly, I guess. Um, right here is where the four-wheel, or one of these two pods, I don't remember, is where the four-wheel drive controls would be. Uh, if this one were a four-wheel drive model, but it's not, it's only rear-wheel drive, you have... Um, a nice brushed aluminum trim. It looks really nice. Um, and also, you have like a faux carbon fiber running along here. If it'll focus on that. There you go. You can see you have like a faux carbon fiber. Down here, you have... Let me get closer on it, because it's going to be stupid. You have a cabin power outlet, which is on the back of the console. Uh, there's your traction control and dual stage heated seats for the driver and passenger. Uh, there's right here, I know the camera's not going to pick it up, but that's the airbag indicator, um, and then the passenger heated seat, and the power outlet. And I don't believe the center console has a power outlet, but he has all his stuff in there, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, personal settings. Blah. Of course, over here on the door, you have hard plastic. It does sound pretty solid, though. It's not, like, flimsy and cheap and stuff. Um, this right here is a little flimsy. That'll kind of pop out. Uh, Chrome-plated door handle. Um, automatic up and down window for the driver and automatic down for the passenger. Of course, you have your mirror controls and your locks. Um, and your window locks. Now, uh, door handles are integrated into the armrest. Um, the armrest does stop a little early, I will give it, I will say that. You can see there, it's kind of difficult to rest your arm from my driving position. Um, there's your cruise control, it's like, it's Chrysler's standard toggle switch. I'm not going to mess with it too much. Um, and of course over here's your wipers. And uh, it does have automatic climate control. I believe this one has automatic. It may not. I don't know. But it does have single zone climate control with um, different areas, I guess. I don't know. Um, it is an auto dimming rear view mirror. And then it does have heated exterior mirrors, which are nice. I do appreciate that. But, um, anyways, I guess that's really pretty much it. Uh, don't, I'm not going to make a driving video on this car. 
because I'm not going to have time, and plus, I don't want to take any chance of messing it up. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching.